Hi Giles. Hello. Can you tell us more about the thinking behind FreeSat's new FreeTime platform? So FreeTime is FreeSat's new next generation user interface and guide. And we really built it to be the embodiment of, of what we try to do at FreeSat, which is help our viewers and our customers to find uh, the, the content they want, the, the TV shows they want, uh, and the programs as easily and quickly as possible. So we built in features like Backward EPG, which we think is a really intuitive way for users to, uh, for viewers to consume uh, catch-up content. We have a showcase uh, part of the UI, which is where we uh, add editorial recommendations uh, to recommend things that we think our viewers will enjoy watching and, and we built it to be as, as quick and, and as easy as possible to just reduce the friction that, that, that there might be in finding something good to watch. And what's so special about the new YouTube app? Well the YouTube app is the HTML5 YouTube app. It's the first uh, rollout on a free TV platform anywhere that we are aware of and it was the first rollout on any platform outside of North America so we're, we're very happy about that. Um, it just is a, is a really really good lean back experience. It's really a, a TV version of, of, of YouTube so it, it has all of the, the YouTube content that you want but you can consume it in a manner that's much more uh, relevant to, 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 you know, to how you are when you're watching TV which is usually quite passive, quite lean back. Um, so it works really well for that and we're very, we're very happy to have it on the platform. Yeah, FreeSat is a is a broadcast service first and foremost, and I, and I think we always will be. It, you know, the amount of broadcast TV that we watch each year as a country is going up. We watch about four and a half hours a day, but I think there's room for for carefully selected, premium um, online services that you know are included as part of the TV, a wider TV experience. So that's why we've added BBC uh, iPlayer, ITV Player. We'll be adding the other catch-up players. Um, soon, and I think there is a. I think basically what consumers want is one easy place to access all of that content, whether it's delivered via broadcast or, or, or via broadband. So I think that really is the kind of the vision for hybrid services as, as we see it. I think it's been really good. I've, I've just got here, but the buzz is the buzz is really good. It's very, very, it's very busy, um, and, and the, you know the, the, the feedback on, on Twitter and. and, and and the like has been really good, so I think it's, uh, it seems like it's been a success.